<laughs> Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how do you make a small barn that's only have two stalls. So let's get started. First of all, you need some popsicle sticks, so it's like this. And you need to make the floor first. So you need to um like just put them together like this. So you just go like this. Yeah, something like this, and you do more and more and more. So it should look like that, and it's way bigger. And you should cut the corner off like here. Yeah, like here, just cut it like this. So I'm just go ahead and do that and glue it on. So as you can see, I have finished gluing all my floors. So it looks like this. And it's 17 popsicle sticks wide. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 blah. And it's 17. So it should be 1, 2, 3 squares for stall. And then 1, 2, 3. And then the rest of the two, we're going to make a little stuff, right? Show you. Should look like this, and I made a little stand here. So you need like two sticks and cut into small little pieces and stick it on here, and it will make it stand properly. So as you can see, I um just did a little teeny weensy stand here and over here as well. So all you have to do is do four corners, like here, do just a little teeny stand so it won't like wobble when you move around. So when you finish doing the floors, let's go ahead and do the back walls at the barn. So you need 19 popsicle sticks for doing the walls. And you need to make two of those. And you also need the short popsicle sticks. Like two short popsicle sticks and more two long popsicle sticks. So it looks like. So you need 19 popsicle sticks like this. And then you need to put the long one like this and put the other one on the opposite side. So it looks like this. Remember, do not put your long one like this. It will make it wobble so it won't stand properly. So just do it opposite. And put the small ones like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on. And make another one. With only 17 popsicle sticks along here. So as you can see, I had glue it on and I made two. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut a window with your this kind of knife. So as you can see, I had cut a window, so it should be four popsicle sticks long, and it should be like four centimeters long. So these two should go like this when we finish gluing it. So the next step, we're going to make here the wall. So it's, so it's the same thing, like this one. Let's just make the, exactly the same one. So I made a same thing as this one, except for I cut a little window out here so the horse can see what is going on outside. So our next step is to fill up here. So as you can see, I have finished making the small size, so it's like here. And you need six of popsicle sticks to do that. And then one here, one here. So our next step is to make a wall that split these two stalls. So I had finished making it, so it should like should look like this. It should be 16 popsicle sticks here, and then cut a little window. It's about 4.5 centimeters long, and. 
nine popicle sticks here. This one should go here. And now for here, we need 17 popicle sticks for a wall that um that split the stall and the stuff. When you finish making it, it should look like this. Two short ones, two long ones. Cut the corner. And for here, we're going to need 17 popicle sticks and and we're going to cut them into about um, 8.5 centimeters long. So it's about 8.5 centimeters long. And then we're going to use two long ones and two short ones to glue it on. And remember, cut the corner. You finish making it, it should look like this. And it go here. As you remembered, we had a wall that's here, split the two stalls. And then we're going to make a wall that's here, about like this long. So I already made it, it's like this. So for this, there is 12 popicle sticks here and two long popicle sticks here. And our next step is that we're going to make the doors. So the door is going to be here and here. There's two doors because there's two stalls. As you can see, I have finished making a door. So it, there is um, 11 popicle sticks. So it goes like this, and then there's nine popcorn sticks has been cut into five centimeters, and then in the other side, these three popcorn sticks has been cut out the corner and stick it like this. And you need to make another one of those. So as you can see, I made two doors. And now, it's a very important step here. We're going to glue these walls up here and it including that small one. so we're going to glue it on and also this side all right as you can see i have finished gluing it on when you finish gluing it on it should look like this by the way just in case if you guys don't know when you're gluing the walls, pretend that's the wall, do not glue it like this. Remember, glue these two sticks, or four sticks, inside. Otherwise, it will look really weird. Like outside, it will look really weird. Now we're just going to go ahead and glue this wall here. And remember, glue this, um, this side that, that it doesn't have a window like this glue it on here and glue this wool on here as well all right guys so i finished gluing it on and we have moved to a hard step we need to glue this on and put the door here and the door needs to go like open and close as you can see, I had already made this door, so I can open and close. So let's have a good look at this door. So here is how you do the opening and closing. And the bottom here is the same. So the first step of making the door is to make a this thing. It's not really good, I failed it, so I'm just going to do that again. So it's empty there. Think how long you are, are you going to do it and mark it with a pencil? About that long. And we're just going to cut it out. So when you cut it out, it usually broke like into half. So all you have to do is just make it work and then put it over there. And then do another one, but at this time it needs to be perfect. Like that. And then just do two more of those. So when you cut out all of those, it should look like that. Alright guys, when you finish gluing it, it should look like that. I didn't glue it properly, but that's okay. Because as long as there's a hole, it's all good. 
Anyways, now um the next step is we're going to cut a little piece and then glue it on top like that. I just going to finish gluing this on. It should look like that. Oops. And then grab this, poke it through, measure it from here, and then mark it with your pencil. It should be like about here, and then cut it out. As you can see, I already cut it out. So put it, poke it through, and then mark it. Like I already marked it, so it should be on the edge. And then sharp it with your knife. So just sharp. When you finish sharpening it, it should look like that. And then glue it on your door like this. Finish gluing it on. I'm just going to let it dry like that. And then do the bottom one as the same as that one. So it's like measure it. Well, just don't do too long because um, we're going to put a hole on it, okay? So when you finish doing that, it should look like that. Remember, here is much more pointing than here. Mark we are going to put the hole. So it's about here. So as you can see I have done marking it. It needs to be a little longer than you thought because the door needs to be open and close. I'm just going to go ahead and poke a hole with a needle. So I had poke a hole with a needle. It fit perfect. And then next, we're going to cut a small piece, measure it carefully, and then stick it like this. Like that. Alright, as you can see, I did that. And then next step is we're going to glue it on. Alright guys, I have finished making my staple. And I ended up adding another layer of this. Alright guys, I have finished making it. I add some a little details like this and those things. There's a picture over there and there's some place that you can eat. Mmm, delicious. And I add a little handle here so you can open and close. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in my next video. Bye!